Hey there, lovely souls, and thank you so much for joining me for the solstice uh, oracle and meditation. Um, I hope you're having or had a great day. Uh, just right here off the top, this is a timeless reading and um, meditation, so you can do this at any time. These are channeled, guided, self-healing, astral meditations that I facilitate. So basically the way these work is I am told I'm going to be doing a meditation and around the time and then I'll start getting a, a real push to, to get going with it. And then um, that's it. I show up. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't design them they are channeled a hundred percent so whatever happens happens from beginning to end uh that's how they work <clears throat> we are going to get started with oracle oracle cards for an oracle reading here with the oracle of the mermaids and then the hidden worlds oracle they're both by lucy cavendish um and just an fyi we are at 79.7% moon. Our full moon is just in a couple days on the 24th. Today is the 20th. It is currently 344 here in the Pacific on Sunday, June 20th. And this is when I was guided to do this reading. And I need some water already. This is when I was guided to do this. And so the, it's interesting, our moon set, at least for me here in the Pacific and those of us here in the Pacific, moon set is at 222 <laughs> and it is 345. So 222, 345. But yeah, I thought that was very interesting right off the top here for the solstice, for the moon to set at 2.22 it is also the um, just getting in here to uh, oh wow it just ended the the 11th day because I was like I just looked at this I'm so confused <coughs> but I didn't look <coughs> excuse me I didn't look to see when it was ending, but it was ending in like a minute or two when I looked. Anyway, the 11th day of the, uh, was ending. The day 12 is just beginning. Day 11, this symbol is the Kundalini. Energetically, the most powerful lunar day of the whole month. A day of awakening of the sacred mystical energy Kundalini. One of the most powerful energies in the universe. Kundalini, first responsible for building our bodies, now gets activated to transform them into higher spiritual structures. Only people who are ready or were born on this day can get access to this amazing and secret power. And I, I personally have been. Um, my Kundalini is has crackety cracked a few times, and it is on full on activated and within me for at least. 10 or 15 years now it's been quite some time so that is settled in and done what it was meant to do before during and after all that quite intense and I do have a article on medium about that so you can read about it for those of you who are readers okay so we just crossed into day 12 the symbol is the heart we have 25 hours eight minutes and 25 seconds to the end of day 12 and so symbol is the heart the stones for this day is lazarite yellow coral necre and pink pearl and the characteristics for this day is feelings of love compassion and charity it is favorable to pray and clean your thoughts it is possible to achieve a re revelation a good day for contacts with people an ideal one for marriage the danger of this day is feel is a feeling of pity 
And uh, so I find it really interesting here how we just literally within the last couple of minutes crossed from the day 11 to day 12. So uh, these energies are still very potent. And um, I, I can definitely feel uh, kundalini energy for sure. So kundalini and then heart here for day 12 that we're officially in right now as we are getting information, messages from the oracle and our guides and guardians about the solstice and this time coming up and any messages that we're supposed to be receiving at this time. So I just find it really, really interesting, um, you know, the timing of things, of course, and if and as I was talking about that, that 222 moon set time here in the Pacific, it was 345. So we have a sequential number going on in real time as I'm discussing the time in the future time. <laughs> so just really, really interesting, all these numbers and times and things. Uh, aside from that, I want to uh, just take a moment to... Bring your attention to the energy of the sun, that being, you know, our, the, this day of the solstice when the sun is at its is at its peak before it starts to wane again and, and the days get. So this is the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere is the summer solstice. And after today, the days start getting shorter. So they've been ramping up in length, getting longer and longer and longer and longer. After today, they're going to start getting shorter. And it's about by a minute each day. Um, until we find ourselves through fall and winter to the shortest day um, of the year, which would be like the winter solstice. But it's it's this very um, spiritual energy that comes in to, to really help us to heal on a deeper level with with our with ourselves to take this incoming light and really integrate with it on a conscious and intentional level so If you could just think about the energy of the sun, what the sun does, how the sun feels, what, what, how important the sun is to our, our beautiful mother Gaia, our planet and all of us and just how amazing and big and strong it is and all the, that good stuff and start thinking about that kind of energy just as we move forward, it's definitely going to be, I'm sure, a, a large component of our meditation. Um, and so is most likely water. I, I feel like that's going to happen. So without further ado, my lovely, let's get into the oracle. We're going to start with the oracle of the mermaids. And I have shuffled these quite a few times. This will be the th third time I dig in with these. Okay. Okay. Have our card here. Air. Oh, look at this. And it's uh, there. Oh, my like, who is this? That there's it's definitely a man and a woman. I'm just trying to decide. I'm trying to figure out if it's if they're mermaids. Pretty sure they're mermaids. <clears throat> there isn't another like the humans here pictured. Yeah, they're mermaids. Air, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life, bringing an exchange of life, bringing energies. Wow, that is intense. <laughs> this air card, this they're they're like 
holding each other um and it's like they're they're about to kiss but there's like bubbles going between them these air bubbles going between them it's a really really cool picture because <laughs> they're underwater so yeah there we go um so there's air let's get into that right away what card number is this card number 26 oh almost right do it one removed there we go air okay the mermaids sing for a moment now be still be still pause in the breath see what it feels like to be in the in-between moment now consciously begin the cycle of breathing the intake of air the poor Pouring past your nostrils of the air, the sensation, the feeling, the expansion of the lungs, the slight moment before you release, then the beautiful moment when all that your body did not need, wish for, integrate, is released. If you... have received this card the mistress of the deep breath the merfolk are asking you to explore the breathing you are doing to make it conscious just for a time until you your own capacity to enter into the beauty of exchange within the trees and the ocean's bed of oxygen creating plants become closer and more appreciated you s- sometimes still believe you are separate and alone in the universe but every breath you are breathing is not new the same molecules have passed through others have been exchanged over and over again now it is your time to exchange the energy to take it into you and to allow yourself to to expand and to feed your every uh, your very cells It is time to challenge your own patterns of the most, excuse me, fundamental nature, your breathing. And if it's in reverse, which it was not, but I'm going to read it anyway. Breathing is inhibited and compromised. And thus the sense of being supported by the world, by the air is not as it should as it could be at this moment there is a difficulty taking in new experiences a distancing from the source of life a sense that to keep safe from safe one must only breathe in a little and release a little you allow (coughs) excuse me (coughs) frog in my throat that is so annoying you allow yourself to make no sound when you breathe The sense of connection with the pulse of the world is limited. It is time to explore the depth of your connection with the world through breathing, through your ability to intake, to voluntarily and purposely set out to take in what you require and desire. Deep and full breathing is something you can teach yourself and train yourself to do, but first you must allow yourself. If you are intentionally harming your capacity to breathe through smoking or breathing in toxic fumes or pollution do do try to relinquish and nourish sorry to replenish and nourish your lungs let smoking go let breathing in toxic fumes go what is your breath contributing to the planet What is your ability to take in and out giving you? What are you allowing? And what are you, oh, sorry. What are you short changing yourself on? I, that was confusing at first. I didn't see that right. Okay, so there you go with the reverse meaning. And then for divination, you have the capacity to take nourishment and oxygen in far more deeply than you are allowing yourself at present. It is time to introduce the idea of breathing far, far more deeply and of holding the breath so that you know you are safe and traveling into areas where you have n- not been before. The ability to breathe deeply and to swim underwater will encourage you to believe in your own courage and potential to develop your lung capacity. 
Give yourself time in a place reno renowned for air that is pure, nourishing, exhilarating. Smell, scent, sounds, all carried on air, enter into you. Drink in life. Breathe deep and fill yourself with the essence of life. Oh, I love that. Okay. I'm sorry, my throat was so, it's better now. <laughs> um, it's like I had just something actually stuck in there. Once I cleared it, I'm like, ah, oh, better. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But here we go. Speaking of breathing and air. <laughs> so, timely, synchronistic, and ironic that I was having a hard time. So, being conscious of your breath. Thinking about slowing it down. Taking it in deep. Holding it. Slowly releasing it, being really, really conscious of the breath. Um, if you've worked with me in healings, if you've done my other meditations, you know that the breath and breathing comes up quite frequently. And we work with, with the breath in different ways. And I remind you to breathe and to slow down breathing or to deep or to take a deep breath or in through the nose and out through the nose is usually the way that you're guided to do it just because that keeps the body calm. Um, when you're breathing in and out of your mouth, it's usually because you're in some form of um, stress or distress that you need to like gobble in air. But if you're relaxed and peaceful, you should be able to just breathe in through your nose. So if you're intentional about breathing in through your in and out through your nose, you're signaling to your body to relax and that you are relaxed, even if you at first have to force yourself to do so. Okay, so anything else coming to me here? Doo -doo. Um, oh, and this part here. Um, The merfolk are asking you to explore the breathing you are doing to make it conscious just for a time until your own capacity to enter into the beauty of it and exchange with the trees and the ocean beds of oxygen creating plants become becomes closer and more appreciate appreciated. So it's like the more you think and are conscious about your breathing, the the better you'll connect with the trees and and what is all around Gaia that provides oxygen okay so then let's now let us get into the oh and my music <laughs> it's 16 four o'clock here in the pacific I had music playing here we go um <clears throat> Okay, so now the hidden worlds are up. Let's get into these ones. what we get we got the secret of Camelot oh how fun I love this card the authority of spirit card number 12 the secret of Camelot and that is a mirrored number to 21 also so our year I'm being pointed at and for um, a good majority of the planet 
the solstice is on the 21st. So uh, for some of us, it's the solstice is uh, in the Pacific. It's at 8.30 p.m. or 8.35 p.m., something like that. Um, on the East Coast, 11.35, so nearly midnight. So solstice for, for a great part of the, the planet is going to be on the 21st. <clears throat> so it's a mirror number to number 12. The Secret of Camelot. Okay, here we go. Within the Avalonian realms are many entrances and gateways. And this one is that taken by the Lady of the Lake. When she must speak with the powers that be within the domain of Camelot. For you, this indicates you will soon be having important talks and conversations with those who are authority figures. You are the mystic in this situation, the one who has the spiritual perspective and the mission to share the mysteries with each other. Those who you speak with are the administration and the bureaucrats, the ones with the power that is recognized by the world. But you have the power of the spirit with you and you are taking that pure spirit into the place that most needs it now. If you are working in a place where people are not connected with their intuition, uh, or their spirit, or if your family is one who denies the gift of the soul, of the soul, you are the undercover agent, the one who enters the world to hold up the gift of the truth, the shining sword that is authenticity, the integrity that cuts through the politics, the one who shares the gift of the spirit, even in circumstances that seem to care nothing for the ways of the light worker the lady can walk with you as you move through these realms and you will know your work has meaning and your gifts have purpose for the ripple effect of your actions your words and your presence will be felt for many years to come and illumination, I enter the world of people to hold up the truth of the spirit. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's ridiculous right now. And it's just such a good reminder that if you're called to do any kind of spiritual work on your own or with other people, in any capacity, and definitely if it's your, you know, calling as is like you, what you're meant to do for your, you know, how, how you, um, like your career or however you want to put that, how you, your main, your main deal in the world, if you will. Um, <clears throat> that is definitely a very, a very supportive message. Uh, and for those of you who think that or feel very, strongly that you are meant to do that kind of work to work through spirit in some capacity you you know you may just still be figuring out exactly what you may have some ideas you may be dabbling for yourself and different things and witnessing other people doing different things and wondering you know what's your thing <laughs> um and so any of that is part is you know any of you people is you're part of this message um that you are it's that authority of spirit that that that's where you're where you get your your information from your energy from your messages from all these things uh, your abilities from your guidance from and this is like the station that I work through so uh, so let me see here what else I'm picking up on I'm hearing that it's going to become easier f to reach other people that that you know are ready to to hear and to 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 hear the truth because that's what this is talking about uh 
<clears throat> this is about delivering the truth and you work through the truth through spirit and uh, there also needs to be a readiness on the other side of those receiving the truth a lot of times you know that's not the easiest thing or it hasn't been so that is improving and going to be easier so that's nice to know <laughs> <laughs> more and more people are ready for the truth the truth will be will will be able to come out and land in an easier way uh people understanding the unseen will be easier because the unseen is also the truth and we're coming out of a of a of a time where people really needed or still need to some degree but really need some type of proof of proof of existence of whatever it is fill in the blank and so much of spirit the essence of spirit is the unseen it is from they are from other dimensions and that's like impossible for most people to to have that that checks and balances point of view and understanding until they experience spirit for themselves in different ways and have an understanding of themselves as spirit in this incarnation it's a little difficult for people to understand and associate and assimilate without immediately being in judgment in fear in in a sense in like this really negative place where a lot of people can go when they think of people who claim to be psychic be healers be mediums be channelers it's like immediately like nope that's bullshit that doesn't exist um, but that's not the truth but they get so passionately angry about it <laughs> and it's because i think <clears throat> that they are more closer to spirit than they're comfortable with and that they don't quite understand like that there's so much resistance there that it's it's a very tight squeeze for things that do get through and they try to make lot they try to use logic and facts and and uh certain systems that that help them to say this is true this is false and it just doesn't work that way so this this card just says look while there are always going to be people that are like that there that <laughs> there's always going to be people that are just programmed and set and it's their it's their story to be non-believers and to never understand to never connect on those levels you know all that kind of thing but there's more people who really do want the truth who really do want to speak it to hear it to know it um who are going to be able to fight through the the parts that are uncomfortable or weird or ch really challenging about themselves and the world and the universe and creation at large when it comes to the truth but you know it when you hear it and when you're and even if you're like okay i don't understand it it's weird whatever uh but it's like but that resonates that that's true and i need to investigate this more instead of like this the feeling that you get which when it's the opposite of that when there's like you just have this i call it the bing and the bong <laughs> The truth is a bing and the and the false is a bong and or a siren. I, I did a meme about that. Um, I said a bell and a siren. So it could be the bing and the bong, whatever, however you like it. It's a vibration. And if you're paying attention, you'll listen to the bing and the bong. Not what you want it to bing and bong, but what is the bing and the bong? Because your own level of being comfortable will get in the way of you truly hearing either of those because you don't you know that's the whole denial thing you can create your own reality by <laughs> drowning out the truth of the being and hearing a bong and being like see not true so moving on and that, that's just because you're just uncomfortable with something you don't quite understand it and you you it would just be easier to just dismiss it than it would be to investigate it to change to evolve to 
accept something is real that you that you dismissed before to to um to be uh fluid in your evolu in your evolution in your understanding of life and self instead of ha having on natural right angles and putting yourself in a box so anyway <laughs> uh so this is about channeling this energy of spirit of the truth and if and if you feel this sword energy because she's the lady of the lake the secret of camelot here she's um, in the lake and she's holding up the sword and it's just a super bright sword and she's connected to the 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 castle of Camelot that doesn't that isn't in the real world that is in the realm of um, of a higher dimension and if you take a look at this card you'll see that it's just it's it's transparent and but she's clearly connecting to that while she's in this very natural beautiful place so um and and i'm being told here that with our first card being air and thinking and about breath and what goes through air and how things connect through air that was part of it too it's like look at all the air all the space between where camelot is and where she is with the sword to connect to camelot and and i'm also being reminded merlin is known for his connection to um of course camelot and that that whole um time period and so to connect with Merlin as well um, to bring in the truth he's a very he's a very obviously wise soul but he's really great at the truth and um, he has such a high vibration he works constantly with the crystal the amethyst especially amethyst with clear quartz so uh and a lot of amethyst comes that way but it's like the the purple and the and the clear and anyway so if you have any type of affinity or pull association um you know with like the wizardy type energy or Merlin and what you know of Merlin, then go ahead and think about his energy and what and just ask to connect it to him is basically what he's saying. He's like, if, if, if people want to connect to me, if souls want to connect to me, then all they have to do is ask to connect to me. And that goes for any, any ascended master, any divine being, um, if you want to connect, all you have to do is ask and you will connect. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Actually, you just really need to want to connect for very, um, you know, loving, open to be guided, um, type energies and, to want to learn he's saying <laughs> to want to do things to want to be put into action um don't just come if you're curious because he doesn't really have time for that um if you just want to ask certain questions but not actually do anything because he teaches by doing he's like working with him and i was telling one of my clients the other day i'm like working and knowing merlin is like a very much apprentice type energy he wants to show you how to to do things and he'll guide you to, to into different in all sorts of ways to learn to grow to expand but he's not going to spoon feed you information without putting you into action to make you put the puzzle pieces together and you know have a, a deep connection with with him and how he works things so that's Merlin. Uh, so again, he says, if you want to work with him, 
All you have to do is ask, go into a meditative state and um, call him in. I think he's going to have me do a very specific meet Merlin meditation for people who, who want to, you know, meet him and do something with him. Um, channeled by me but you don't have to wait for me he says just go ahead get into a meditative state clear space grab your amethyst or think of amethyst and um and just call call to him and see what happens okay so <laughs> I'm hearing a message. The truth carries light in the air. Oh, I love that. The truth carries light through the air. The truth carries light through the air. Oh, that's awesome. The truth carries light through the through the air. Um, remember that as you get more and more connected with yourself your 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 body your energy centers your overall vibration as you hear information come either from any individual you know or in media or um in any way shape or form just try to connect with the, or the more you connect with yourself the more you clear and, and heal yourself the easier it will be to feel the vibrations around you but just the intent to do so just the intent to understand the truth carries light through the air also means like it's literally carrying light through the air but it's also light in the air and it's light as it hits you versus heavy dark um that kind of thing so if that helps at all with how you think to express what you want the energy you want to put out the truth is also your authenticity and being connected to your soul being soul guided being connected to your spirit guides being spirit guided um so when you walk in that lane you speak from that lane you you behave from that lane then everything will be light 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 on light <laughs> light through the air okay i do believe that's it am i right yes i'm hearing okay i want to thank our guides yours mine and ours for these messages uh air and the secret of camelot um i really like these messages for for right now going into the second half of the year uh this longest day of the year the summer solstice the most daylight the most potent sun energy really 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 fantastic messages to remind us about our breath our life force to be intentional to connect with the air to connect with gaia through our breath as we live in and speak and and work from a place of authenticity and the truth through the air and air carries light it's all very tied in together and the sunlight coming in to amplify all of that beautiful um i hope that you feel that too and I'm going to take a moment here before we get started with our meditation. Just take a little bit of water. Ah, oh, nice. So lovely soul. Again, I want to thank you for being here being guided to these messages and 
to me in general, to my work or to working with me in the past, in the present, in the future, however you're guided. I want to thank your guides and guardians for being connected to me, connected to you and bringing those connections together. I want to thank Mother Gaia for being here with us always and I uh, especially want to thank our beautiful son and all of the amazing energy and nutrients and vitamins and hormones and and just love energy that we get and everything um, with this relationship from our from our beautiful planet and our star our soul our son so i just want to um really just take a moment here to connect with these energies so let's just some regulating deep breaths in and out of the nose for about a minute as we think about gaia your guides you your body the sun this time of the year the solstice and whatever else is may come to you about this just settle in eyes closed get comfy for about a minute and let's just be quiet breathe and think Okay, so hopefully you're feeling more centered, ready to connect, to receive, to release, to travel. Let's just double check here that you have your crystals with you in a comfortable position. If you can't hear my music, put on whatever frequency music you like to meditate to. I just can't have it too loud or I feel like I have to yell over it. So that is as loud as it's going to get. If you're cool with that, great. If not, then adjust accordingly. If my voice is too loud for you in this position or this volume, then please just adjust your volume. It's better for me to be louder than it is for me to be too quiet and you just struggle to hear me. So just please adjust that. I'll try to maintain a steady voice and not go too loud or too soft here. If you're sitting, whether you are in a chair or cross-legged, just make sure that your back is supported, your lower back is supported. So use a bolster or a pillow. Make sure that your posture is centered with your spine, your shoulders are back and down, you're over your hips, but not, um, or you're centered over your hips, but not leaning forward or backwards. 
Your chin is up and straight. Top of your head is flat and straight at the top there. And for your arms and your hands, you can just have them relaxing in your lap, palms up. Fingers loosey goosey. And let's get into our breath here. On the count of three, we're going to take a nice, easy breath in through the nose. One, two, and three. Filling up your lungs nice and deep. And then holding and releasing again through the nose. So as you breathe in, you want to think of that amazing air and how we got the messages about air today. That life force coming in through the air to be intentional about it, bringing it through the nostrils and your sinuses and through your nose and throat and down to your lungs and filling up your lungs with that life force holding on to what we need to sustain us, to help us grow and evolve in every moment. And then releasing what we don't need. And then imagine what you release and you breathe out and the molecules in the air uh, go directly to the trees and they breathe it in and there's this back and forth exchange. So you can think of the closest tree or trees that you have near your home, near where you are. And as you breathe in and out, just think of bringing in the oxygen from the trees. If you're near the ocean, think about uh, bringing in that beautiful uh, oxygen that is cycled through the ocean, the mist in the air around the ocean. As you breathe in, bringing that energy into the body. And remember, we are all one one big family here upon Gaia. We are the humans, the earthlings on our beautiful mother earth, our great mother who knows and carries and loves each and every one of us as her babies is the way that she refers to us, her children. She loves each and every one of us. She's been with each and every one of us and through each of our incarnations as we've had lifetimes here with her. In every shape and form we may have been incarnated, she has known us. Each of us have a soul signature, a soul code, a soul print, and she knows each and every one of those, connects to each and every one of those souls and knows them when they come back again and again. She says she rejoices in their birth each and every time. And this is a constant state of joy for her because there's a constant state of reincarnation in one form of the, or another. And no matter what is happening within the family, the incoming energies of souls coming back again to rejoin the family, to experience love, and creation creating here 
connecting with her and each other is just cause for joy and celebration in every single moment and it outshines everything else so to think about that think about all the new life especially at this time we just crossing over into summer there's so much new life in springtime that we've been witnessing the blossoming of flowers and plants and baby birds and and kittens and all sorts of baby animals and people with their newborns and and people rebirthing themselves she's saying she says those of you who are seeking to evolve in a very conscious way you are having two lives in one and she's pointing to these two lives and she says for some of you you've you've transitioned and crossed over into your second life a while ago it's been some time maybe several years and for some of you it's brand new it's a brand new experience and and it's the very first of the first transitions for yourself or very close to it and and it's such a joyous time because there's just going to be more of that and the building upon building of this energy the layers she's like showing me like layers of cake and each layer of cake is representing a whole uh, uh, like pod of souls that are coming online um, at very similar times and and this crossing over this tipping point of the solstice this energy coming in at this time is really going to be uh, sending the charge to awaken to so many souls it's going to supercharge those that are awakening that are actively healing that are actively connecting it's going to really send it's it's going it's like major lightning through the system to just reset so much to help dissolve programming to help like we um we're getting i'm being pointed to um uh the the card about camelot which is the the to know and to feel the truth about yourself the world other people creation your your story your soul story the whatever that may come to you is going to um, be clear for you um, on whatever level it is meant to be that for you at this time and going forward after this solstice time so just to very intentionally open up and to receive that and while we're at it here, let's do our first. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. The four R's mantra that really spell out the process of our evolution in a very short, condensed and straight to the point way for us to to integrate i release i release negative energy i release blocks i release fear so i may receive the incoming messages light codes upgrades downloads and timelines that are meant for me i remember my soul my spirit my connection to spirit my infinite soul my story the akashic records as they're meant to come to me uh, my connection with my other lifetimes and i remember gaia and i rise as i release receive and remember i rise in frequency i raise myself up through the levels of ascension i become lighter like a light balloon lifting up 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 how because i've done the previous i have released i've received and i've remembered and that cycle takes me to rising 
So see yourself as a balloon being filled up. So it may filled up with air so it can raise itself up rise into the sky and just go higher and higher so i release i receive i remember and i rise and be this balloon just going up 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 nice and floaty the air all around you let densities go if you feel anything weighted on you if you're having a hard time then just like a, a hot air balloon and, and that have those sandbags to weigh them down just release those sandbags very intentionally, I release density, negativity, worry, anxiety, fears, judgment, shame, guilt. I honor sadness and grief, but I don't let it keep me down. I forgive. One more time, I forgive. I forgive myself, I forgive others. I let go of negative and dense energies that I have tied to anybody. I give myself permission to work through that and to let it go. So I can move up and forward like an arrow through the air. Unimpeded, nothing to stop me or block me or hold me down or back. Okay, so she says, um, when I say she, I'm speaking about um, Gaia. She says, she's, the scene that she's showing me are a bunch of hot air balloons in the sky. I'm sure you've seen those pictures or videos where it's like some festival, some hot air balloon festival, and there's all these hot air balloons in the sky, and it looks so beautiful, looks so magical. And the sun is in the background and it's lighting all their balloons up. She says she wants you to be here. She wants you to, to either put yourself in the balloon or be the balloon, whichever is most comfortable for you, but to see your brothers and sisters of the light incarnate, they themselves as the balloon or in the balloon very intentionally floating and just allowing for themselves to passively move through the air she said this is a time to just let yourself be at that zero point with the solstice not forcing forward not pulling back but just letting yourself float and feel the support of the elements Know that Gaia is holding everything in this beautiful bubble of her atmosphere and her body, the water where it's where it is, uh, and the air, the atmosphere, and all of the gases and everything that works together to sustain life here perfectly. She says there's always going to be environmental changes and shifts. There all has always been, there will always be. Let fear go and open up to the understanding that she is conscious. She knows that she holds us all and that we are a family. And to let go of fears 
surrounding anything to do with climate, the environment, and just send love to her and know that between us and her, that we are okay, everything is going to be okay, we are all going to adapt in the ways that we are meant to, things are going to shift the way that they are meant to, but to be in fear of her body or your bodies or the environment of the hot or the cold or anything in between is not helpful. Just like it's not helpful to stress and be in anxiety about your own life and the details in your life and about what could happen and what might happen and and thinking about negative outcomes is never helpful. So she says the same thing goes on the larger scale for the entire collective. Um, so from macro to micro and back again, it's always the best course of action to know that with your own guidance and together with your family, with your friends, with your fellow spirits incarnate that we will with Gaia, with connecting with her, with her direction, with all the different people playing their parts, being awake and awakening more each and every single day that the world, the planet, the people, the consciousness uh, of everybody, Gaia's own uh, body and her own story, um, everything is, is going to, is on a trajectory of higher and better and healthier and more connected and unified and uh, feeling and being in the love energy more and more and more. So again, she says, let go of fear. If you feel fear in your life or any details about your life, if you feel fear for the collective or the environment, again, for Gaia's body, for animals, for any reason whatsoever, she wants you to cut those bags of fear cut those bags of fear and let them go and send love instead fill your heart up with love hold your hands to your chest and feel the love coming and emanating out of your heart she says turn the anxiety and the worry and the stress to love instead because that is what will heal her and each other fill your your hand space up so let your hands come out and away from your chest as you let the love come out of your heart chakra and really feel it between your hands and your chest feel it there feel the density of the love energy Look down and see how it crackles with uh, green and golden and pink flecks. See how it's crystalline and alive. That is your life force, your love, your unconditional love coming straight from your heart. Your heart chakra goes all the way down. That energy goes down to your fingertips, all the way up to through your neck, actually. All the way through your back and your chest, your shoulders. And those energetic wings that come out of the shoulder blades, if those are not already active, please activate them. Open up the channels of your shoulder blades and let the heart chakra energy come out of each side. Energetic wings. Your heart chakras are meant to be ever expanding and growing with um, higher and higher frequency energy for your entire body, for your loved ones and the collective and creation as a whole. And with that, we cannot sustain that energy within our physical body. We need to let it go from our fingertips, from our hands, from our uh, energetic wings, from the backside of our heart chakras. So just let that open and let let that go and again let the energy come out of the heart space the heart chakra hold your hands about a foot away from your heart and feel and see the energy create a ball of energy and light from your heart chakra 
and look down into it and see it crackle, see how it's alive. It's like little uh, lightning rods all through this, this, uh, this sphere of energy. So now take it and pull it from your heart and see the sphere in front of you. Hold it with one hand on top and one hand on bottom like you're holding a big beach ball. Big beach ball size love ball here. Really feel the energy between your hands and your fingertips. Let's really play with this guy. I really want you to tap in with this energy. Hold it here. Hold it here. Kind of move your hands in about a, an inch or two to really feel the density of it. Then feel your guardian angel, your miracle angel, and your healing angel at your sides and their energy coming in and around this bubble of love energy. So like their energy, their white light, their very, very light violet light around your heart energy. You always working as a team, whether you're conscious of it or not. Of course, it's always best to be more conscious of it. So use this space here to connect with your guardian angel, miracle angel, and, and healing angels that are always with you. And see them sending in their energy to mix with yours. And look out um, through the space here where you can see your brothers and sisters, their own, um, their own lights, their bubbles of love here. And then connecting with the sun in the distance. Guy is pointing us to the sun in the distance. Look at how beautiful the sun is, those rays coming in. And let the sun and the uh, the sun of this solstice, this most potent energy, come straight in to your love bubble here, your sphere of heart chakra and angel light. Charge up this energy, charge up this energy. Big beach ball and feel this energy between your fingertips. Move it around. As the sun rays come in to this bubble, really feel it getting warmer and warmer. Feel your body channeling this energy through your fingertips and your hands. Opening up the channels of energy through each fingertip and your, your hand chakras. So opening up, really feeling this energy, pulling this energy in through your hands and your fingertips. The energy of your angelics, the energy of the sun, mingling, connecting, unifying with your own energy. Nice deep breaths. And then the balloons are starting to make a formation. You and your brothers and sisters of the light, whether you know them or not. For those that you do know, think of them in the circle with you. So all of the, the uh, brothers and sisters of the light getting into a big formation, big circle. Everyone facing inward, everyone holding their bubbles of love energy here, mixed with that beautiful energy of the sun. Keep feeling it coming through and into your body. Feeling warm, feeling energized, and then take that energy 
up to your throat chakra and up to your third eye and up to your crown chakra light them all up send that energy down to your solar plexus down to your sacral and down to your root Bring that energy all the way down, all the way up, straight in through your hands, through your arms, bringing it in as it keeps charging and charging with the energy and the heat of the sun and deep breaths. Remember the air holding us, the air, your life force, and this love energy, so intense. You can feel it through your fingertips as you hold it there. Feel that charge. Feel it in your fingertips and your hands. Bring it through the body. You can also very much use this energy Gaia is saying let's use this energy to help shield us now shielding us take this energy and pu and pull it let's get it really big really big taking over way like it's coming over us our own bodies but she says let's expand that to all the way around the uh the balloon that we're traveling in. Let's see it really big. Extending that energy out, out, out. And knowing that this is a protective shield of energy, protecting us from negative energies coming into our field to give us time to adjust to reflect back any negative energies from where they may have uh, are coming to us to help us discern where negative energy or psychic attack or any uh, energies coming at us to throw us off in any way. And she's saying one other step for shielding here is our own energies. Help us to be aware and cognizant and quicker and more mindful of any of our own negative thoughts, programming, um, behaviors, addictions, things like this, that we are able to uh, to perceive them non with a non-judgmental uh perspective so we may change and evolve accordingly in the moment remember without ridicule or shame for ourselves so this is to help us uh, perceive filter and shield us from our own negative energies from our own uh, programming thought forms um, and fears as well as others and just the energy within them or the energy that they're intentionally sending to us that we are uh, shielded from that that we reflect back to um, any negative sources what they are trying to send to us so they may stop doing that and it not to affect us, but to also uh, give us better clarity when these things are happening. So there's this big, big bubble of energy all the way around our uh, hot air balloons. But she says, now we can let that stay there and then bring back to our focus and attention the, uh, the beach ball size bubble of energy that's between our hands right in front of us. Get back into that. And really feel that energy, feel that density, play with it, look at it nice and bright and light love energy from your heart chakra your angelics and from the sun 
bringing in and soaking in the energy and the love particles from Mother Gaia herself through the element of air. So see little specks of white light coming in, she's saying, hitting um, this bubble. She says that it's, she says it's actually um, every color. So it starts with white, but then it cycles through all the colors of our chakras and the rainbow. So see red little lights, orange little lights, uh, yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet lights coming in into this uh, beach ball of the sphere, this bubble of love energy. And as those little lights come in all around the bubble, it integrates and it gets brighter and brighter and stronger and stronger and feel the electricity, feel the energy, feel the love. Feel the connection to your soul when you're holding and feeling all of this love. It's impossible not to feel that connection to your soul. Let the soul light up within. Light up within. Let the soul light up. Light up your body. Let the soul light up. Light up your entire body with your soul. Feel your soul through your entire body, down to your toe, your toes, all the way to your nose top of your head, your back, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your feet, your hands, everything, your, your abdomen. Feel your soul through your entire body. And then as we're in this formation, this circle formation with all of our brothers and sisters, this big, big circle, what we're going to do now, she's saying, see this big sphere, this, this bubble of light, feel it, hold it. And then what you're going to do is start to pull it apart. So you have two spheres in each hand, one in each hand, I should say two total one in each hand so you're going to pull it apart and so we're going to have two smaller bubbles balls of light here however you see this i see them as spheres bubbles balls um anything like that so you have them in your hands separated in your hands here the one on the left the one on the right your left hand is your receiving hand. And your right hand is your giving hand. This is with receiving and giving of energies. So hold these bubbles of light. And what we're going to do now is simultaneously we're going to let go and release the one in our right hand towards the center and everybody in the circle is going to release the one in their right hand going straight ahead and so everybody's little light bubbles meet in the center and join together and at the moment that they join together we're going to take the bubble in our left hand and put it back into our hearts and have this connection at the center okay so at the count of three we're going to release the one in the right hand so one two and three let it go and send it off and see it floating floating towards the center and see everybody else's bubbles of light floating towards the center 
Look how beautiful that is. There's no rush here. It's not a fast thing, but they're just floating towards the center like little magnets all being sent to the same spot there in the center. And they're getting closer. And closer to center. And they're starting to meet there at the center. One big ball of light. And now with your left hand, put the other sphere and slowly back with very intentionally back on with your hand on your chest as this integrates into the body. Intentionally connecting to the center, being intentional about connecting in the now and in the future with your soul family incarnate here upon Gaia as we're meant to connect in whatever ways we're meant to connect to help each other, to help ourselves with our soul missions, with our soul stories, with, with connecting and healing uh, each other ourselves and to help mother Gaia as we move forward in our evolution to feel the love on a soul based level with our soul family our brothers and sisters incarnate feel into and bring in that energy into your body into your energy connecting you with your spirit deep breath and send a little bit of that energy to every single one of your chakras first send a little bubble of that energy down to your root chakra and let it integrate just see it all connecting there so you may know and feel from the root center and take a little bit down into the sacral all the way down like a little bubble down all the way to the sacral and let it connect and integrate so you may know from the sacral energy center and take a little bit down into the solar let it integrate connect so you may know from the solar and keep a little bit here for the heart as you send a little bit up into the throat. So you may know from these centers. And then send a little bit straight up to the pineal gland in your entire brain. So you may know from this center. Let the energy permeate through you. Look out at your brothers and sisters side by side and all the way in this circle of love and light here on this solstice together, joining in love and unity and intention held here by the element of air and the love of Gaia the energy of our sun and feel that through your entire body, all of your chakras lit up by your soul, your physical body, your energetic body. Let it all integrate together. Hands at Namaste in the center of your chest. Bow your head. And one more time here. I release. I receive. I remember. I rise. I release. I receive. I remember. I rise. And with this, she says, we are all rising with our balloons going up, 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 releasing more density more negative energies, anything that holds us back. We're just going to keep going up, repeating. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. 
I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. One more time. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. Deep breath. And see your balloon rising. Feel yourself rising. And as we go up, it may get darker. Maybe less light here as we're getting higher and higher. But all of our light, each and every one of us, so bright that we light up anything that is unknown as we reach it. Anything that we are meant to know, we will exactly when we are meant to. Our job is to stay clear, to get ourselves as healthy as possible, to take care of ourselves and each other, to send love, to release fear, to move forward faithfully, without resistance, in whichever ways we are guided in every moment of every day. There is nothing wrong with the unknown or the unseen or the darkness that we have yet to bring our light into. The mysteries should be something of excitement, something our, our soul calls out to us to explore and to rise ourselves into through our ascension and our soul connections with our uh, spirit guides and guardians and everyone we're connected to incarnate and otherwise and of course with our great mother Gaia us all being held in the light by our beautiful sun and know that we have the sunlight within us we have the earth light within us we have our soul light within us we have everything we need in every single moment. And from here, dear one, just let yourself be carried infinitely. Be in this space, in this energy. Receive any insights, downloads, and messages that you will. You're being asked to stay here for the next few minutes as long as feels good. Taking back with you as much as you need from this gathering. Thinking once again, blessed and grateful, grateful to you and all of those divine beings on both sides of the veil to be with us here today. I'm Infinity and I am extremely happy, blessed and grateful to facilitate this gathering today. Thank you so much for being here. Please reach out. Let me know how this uh, gathering has um, helped you in any way. And with that said, dear one, I will see you next time. Infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.